Hey girlfriends, for this Friday fashion video, we are talking peplum tops. What are they and why are they super slimming for you to wear? Well, peplum tops came into fashion quite a few years ago, but thank goodness they have stayed because they are just such a great top to wear and they have incredible slimming powers, but there are a few tips and tricks on how to find your perfect peplum for your body shape. And in this video, that's what I'm going to be telling you about. Now, if you don't know already, in addition to being a host for this show where we talk about a whole bunch of lifestyle things, all things midlife, I'm also a personal stylist and midlife makeover expert. I have been styling women for over 17 years, all different shapes and sizes, and it's my absolute passion to help women to look and feel really fabulous in their clothes. So, what is a peplum top? A peplum top is really simple, ladies. It's a top that just fits into your waist and then flares out. And therein lies the magic. So, when you're defining your waist, that is the best thing that you can do for your body shape. I say this to all of my clients and in so many of my videos and definitely in all of my workshops, the best thing you can do is define your waist because it shows the natural balance between either your shoulders or your bust, whichever you're well blessed with, which means whichever is the biggest, <laughs> with your hips. Now you often, most women have natural balance. In fact, if you don't believe me, just do this with me. Feel your shoulders, okay, or your bust, don't worry, no one's looking, and then feel your hips, and you'll feel. In most cases, ladies, they are in perfect balance. But if you don't dress to emphasize that waist of yours, it's not gonna show that beautiful balance. So that's what this peplum top does. Also what it does, which I am really excited about, but only if you get it right, is that the flare of the top actually makes everything underneath it seem narrow in comparison. What? Yes, that is true. So what we wanna find out is how can we get the right fabric, because it does depend on the fabric, how can we get the right length of the peplum top? Should we go print, should we go plain, and what the heck do we wear with it? Oh, and by the way, at the end of the video, you wanna stay tuned because I'm gonna give you a bonus styling tip on how to wear peplums and take them to a whole nother level. Okay, let's get stuck in. So, first of all, the fabric. Now, the weight of the fabric is going to depend on how much of a kind of swing it gives you, right? <laughs> I don't know another word for that. But essentially, if it's a thicker fabric, it is definitely going to have more body and you're gonna get far more flair out of that. Now, for some women, it's not going to be that suitable. It's gonna feel kind of like they're about to fly away. I personally love it, but it comes down to your body shape and it comes down to your personal style. Now I have found that if you have quite a tummy, then sometimes the firmer fabrics are actually really flattering because you do kind of need a little bit more of that lift. Whereas a lightweight fabric is going to have more of a drapey effect and less of a flare effect. Now let's talk about the length because the length is a do or die situation. Okay, it's not that serious, it's just fashion, but really it's either going to make or break your peplum. So what I find is that in most cases, and let me just say that everybody is different, it's very hard to give a blanket rule for everybody and I don't believe in rules, I believe in breaking them. So we definitely don't want to be giving rules, but in general, I find that a peplum works its best magic when it's kind of sitting on your hip, even maybe a little bit above it or ever so slightly below it. But when it gets to kind of, you know, even two inches below in that kind of strange length, it can actually add extra volume that you don't particularly want. Now, if you have it on the hip, what it does is because of the width of the top, it really makes the hips here seem much narrower in comparison. That is my favorite thing about peplum tops. So you wanna make sure that you get your length right. However, if you do want to wear something longer, sometimes there is this beautiful peplum top and it is quite a lot longer, or it's even a peplum style type top. That's absolutely fine. Then go pretty long. Almost wear it as if it's a short dress. Then you just pop a pair of leggings on underneath it and you are styled. 
Now, what about the fabric? Do we want to go for printed or do we want to go for plain? Well, I personally love prints because it gives you that disguise factor, right? So when you are wearing a print, it's only ever going to make you look bigger if the garment is too big for you or it's shapeless. Now, you definitely don't have to worry about that with a peplum because the whole point of a peplum is that it fits in the waist and flares out. So it already by its nature has shape. So in my mind, in my experience, let me tell you that I find it really effective to have a peplum in a printed fabric because it gives you that extra little bit of disguising. The cool thing about prints is that you don't know what's fabric and you don't know what's flesh. Yay! It's just so much fun. Now, if you do want to wear a plain, then you may want to find it in something a little bit thicker that will still give you a little bit more coverage than a super, super thin one. But a little trick that you might want to try, if you are in love with a top and it isn't a plain fabric and it is a peplum and you feel like the length is perfect, the color is perfect, the shape of it is good, but you're still revealing a little bit too much. Maybe you've got a bit of a tummy, maybe your hip, whatever it is. We all have those things, ladies. One of the little tricks that you can do is to pop a cotton or a shapely cami on underneath, tuck that into your pants or your skirt that you're wearing it with, and it will give you a little bit of that a smooth out effect. It's one of my favorite tricks. I absolutely love it. And of course, during fall and winter, that's really easy. In fact, it makes it far more cozy and you won't be getting any draft up there, right? Now, what do you wear with a peplum? Such a good question because you definitely want to pair it with the right pieces because it's all about proportion. So as a general, because there is volume in the peplum going from the waist to the hip, you want to wear something that's going to fit you really, really well in the waist and the hip. Now, for some women, that's going to be a skinny pant or a skinny jean or a slim leg. I love slim leg. Slim leg is a little bit of a cheat. It's almost like a skinny, but it's not, and it still looks fashionable. But in some cases, women really suit a wider leg pant. I mean, I have seen women wear peplum tops with a wide leg pant really well. The key is, though, that you want to make sure that you're not having a whole bunch of extra volume there. So, the, so it must fit you really well in the waist and in the hip, and then flare from lower down, and that way it won't add the volume all in this mid section. For those who are comfortable with slimmer bottoms, a pencil skirt could be fabulous because you're offsetting that pencil skirt with the fabulous flare of the peplum and it's going to look fab. For those who find it easier and more flattering to wear a straighter skirt, just make sure that you're getting those proportions right and that it doesn't make you look frumpy. We don't want frumpy girls. Nobody has to look frumpy. It's all about getting the proportions and the right kind of proportions for your body shape. None of us are the same. We're all gonna have to test these things out. Now for the bonus styling tip, and this is if you wanna just take this peplum look to a whole nother level. I am crazy about belts, wide belts. I find wide belts so flattering because they cinch in the waist. So if you wanna take this look to a whole nother level, and or if you have a little bit of a tummy that you feel like needs de-emphasizing still with your peplum, which absolutely can happen, then what you do is pop on a wide belt. I love this one. I actually got this at a thrift store here in New York. And for me, it just takes this look to a whole nother level. It also makes the peplum top jut out more, which gives it more of a flair and more fun. It works for my personal style. I get it that it won't work for everybody else, but I'm having fun doing it because I just feel that clothing should be fun. So if you do like this top, if you love this style, then you can go to tracygoldnewyork.com and you can see more information about this style. And in fact, the collection is customizable, which means that you could have this top in different fabrics if you like. You don't like this fabric? Have it in a different fabric, girl. You really can. 
And if you do want to stay in touch with us and continue to get Fashion Friday tips as well as wonderful lifestyle tips about turning 50, about having a good sex life, about doing your own hair, cutting your own hair, all those good things, then you want to go over to tracygoldshow.com, T-R-A-C-Y, golden color, show.com and join our insiders list. That is the best way to stay in touch with us because let's be honest, social media, we have no control over it. So you may see the videos or you may not. We also have some really fun things coming up very soon that you are not going to want to miss. So girlfriend, get onto the insiders list. I'll see you then till next time.